so I am definitely past due for a sketchbook update. Um, and I've got a lot of sketches to go through, including some cover art that I've done over the last month since my last sketchbook update. So uh, let's just get right into it and yeah, uh, check out some, some artwork. Uh, so I have been doing a ton of pen and ink stuff uh, and these were just kind of sketch pages. Uh, this is really what I started out with. I think the last one that you guys saw was this one, which is really similar. So I continued to do that. These are just some random uh, Batman poses. Um, this one obviously very unsuccessful, but some of these definitely learning some stuff. Uh, I'm, I feel like I'm getting a lot better at um, showing the figure uh, with like less is more kind of thing, especially having to use just the pen instead of pencil drawing, which, you know, I think if you followed me long enough, you pro you know that I do mostly pencil stuff, or at least I have in the past, but everything going forward, at least for the last couple of months, has been a lot, it has been only actually pen and ink, so, um, yeah, just some kind of dynamic poses. I like that one a lot. Uh, really shows him uh, kind of coming, flying, through the air on his, you know, grappling hook. This one's kind of cool. I called this post Batman Gymnastics. So these are some character concepts, just some pen and ink faces. I was working on this kind of idea for a story and I was just randomly throwing out all these like kind of character concepts. And then up here, just some pencil sketches uh, that weren't very successful. More kind of character sketches, really quick, working on poses, some facial expressions, nothing crazy. More of these character concepts. Uh, this was kind of the direction I really settled on. I wanted something very um, advanced technology-wise for this character, and I was calling him like Alpha One or something like that, and I'm still working on this. Um, I'm just also at the same time working on my pen and ink skills, so this is kind of in and out of my work process lately, but I really like this design. Um, it's very, you know, advanced, futuristic. There's no moving parts and stuff like that. So with this character, it's more, you know, maybe minerals they've discovered that can kind of morph into different type of armor sets and stuff rather than moving parts. That's kind of the idea for him, but um, yeah. Just some fun ideas more character concepts in pencil. As soon as I get done with these, then you'll see a lot of the pen and ink stuff. Um, but yeah, this is kind of just some different characters, ideas for this guy. This was a pen and ink version of him, which I actually did a um, digital coloring of this. The only hilarious thing about this, and I honestly didn't even think about it until somebody mentioned it, is that, you know, this, piece right here when you zoom out totally looks like a penis or something sticking up and it definitely was just random it's supposed to be a little more like a, a roman like uh i don't know what you'd call it but um did not end up looking right it's just one of those funny accidents that happened so i would definitely be changing that but this was one of the further along designs kind of like a silver surfer but um I don't know what other characters, a lot of people thought of uh, the Vision when they saw him too, but I wanted him very simple, real simple, powerful type character. Here's some kind of character sketches with him in mind. This is a random sketch page, uh, Wolverine kind of jumping out at you. Uh, and then some different poses. This is like maybe Psylocke. Uh, I'm not really sure who that was supposed to be or this, but uh, Professor X kind of right there. This was just a rant. I don't even know what I was thinking on this page. I think I was just working on figures and stuff like that and maybe comic book characters, which is definitely what I've been focusing on lately. And you see that here, which is a comic book page. So this is just 
mess around real quick doing some panels of a fight between Wolverine and Batman. So in this panel, Wolverine's like jumping at him and then Batman's like tossing him over his shoulder. So I felt like this was pretty successful as far as telling a, um, a story and showing a, a sequential action scene. Uh, and then the next page is the end of the fight. I only did it two pages long. So Wolverine lunges at him. Batman grabs his arm, swings him around, and then uses his own claws to stab him through the head and win the fight. So that was kind of fun. Uh, I need to do more of this because this is actually the, the end game for all the drawing that I do, um, things like that. These sequential pages are definitely like the things I should be working on more now, I feel like, because I, I really want to start to get to a point where I'm actually putting together finished or what I eventually want my art to become kind of thing. Random robot, real quick, just sketching ideas. More sketches of this guy. And like I said, this is going to be a, a lot of artwork because it's been a while since I've uploaded. So it's kind of a rendered version of what his face might look like. Here are some figures. I really like this guy right here. Uh, that was something I was working on very dynamic, like angles and stuff. That's one thing I actually do notice about a lot of... Um, not a lot, but there are definitely artists that only draw from like eye level of the characters and I really want to make sure that what I am doing this kind of art, I'm drawing different angles and things like that, like looking down on the scene, looking up at them. Um, it just makes, I feel like it makes the artwork much more um, enjoyable. So, and I, I really like the figures in this page. Uh, these, you can't just draw muscle men and sexy women all day, you gotta draw kids and stuff like that to make a story, you know, have lots of variety and stuff, so worked on some little kids art. Um, I like this one a lot, this outfit. Here are some weird cyborg robot type concepts. There's actually, so at the beginning of this video I said it was pen and ink predominantly. I totally forgot about all these sketches. So yeah, I'm wrong, but I guess you can dislike the video if you like. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but uh, this guy's pretty, more a little bit more realistic than let's say these two guys, but uh, pretty interesting stuff. I like these. Uh, facial expressions and just random character sketching. Some character concepts, like their long legs, looks like she runs real fast. Uh, this was a pretty cool character. I like the full figure of her. She's different than maybe the traditional what you see in comics and stuff like that. I like more of a, a variety of bodies and stuff so that not everyone looks the same. I know artists that do stuff like that and they're super successful. Uh, J. Scott Campbell, all of his girls look identical just with maybe slightly different ideas around their costumes and stuff. Uh, for me, I like a little bit more variety in my figures, so that's something going forward that I've definitely felt like, for myself, um, I enjoy doing, so I'll probably pursue that with characters and stuff like that in the future. Some character concepts. Uh, this is a more rendered drawing. Oh, it's supposed to go this way. Whoops. So she's like a future cop jumping over a cop car or some or a car. And he sucks. That was a terrible little character design. I don't really like him very much. But she was really cool. So. Okay, so that's it for sketches in this sketchbook. So that was, comp was completely wrong with what was in this. There was a lot of pencil work. I totally forgot I did all this stuff because I have, I think I was thinking of this sketchbook, which is the one I'm working on right now, and it's got a lot more pen and ink stuff in it. So, but you guys, I'll be showing this one for Inktober. 
Uh, but now I'll show you some of these, which are, these are blank variant comic book covers I get from my local comic book shop. So this is when I really started busting out the inks and stuff. Uh, this is War Mother, which is a pretty cool comic. Um, but as you can see, these are actual like comics. They just have blank art covers on them, which are super awesome and fun to do. Uh, I did one of these a while back. Uh, I've done a few of them and they didn't turn out super great, but I like the way some of these newer ones I've just done turned out. I felt like this one, this one's pretty successful. Um, I wouldn't have added the marker on this though. It looks terrible and this is a much more slick surface on this cover. Um, this is Valiant that does this um, and the the marker just wasn't blending, wasn't soaking into the paper like it normally would. So I would have definitely avoided using cover, color and stuck with just the black and white on that one. Uh, this is a Ninja Turtle one that I did, which I like the way this one turned out. This is a full scene. My goal for this one was to do like, you know, actually, instead of just a character on there, really show like an entire, like they're running through this back alley street and there's buildings all around them and they're kind of running towards the, the sewer hole and stuff. But I felt like this was a pretty fun, successful, um, and it looks pretty close to a legit cover. That Leonardo in the front there is um, the one I spent most time on. But I only, the only color I used was their masks. I would have made Donatello a little bit fatter. He's a little bit skinny back there running. So, but that was that was a pretty successful one, I think. Uh, I don't know if I read this comic, but... And then I've got... This one was a fun one because it is Wonder Woman Conan comic book. And there's the original. This one actually has the original cover in there. But I thought it would be funny. The original Conan poster is Conan in this position with his sword raised. And I can't remember the girl character from the movie, but it's the Arnold Schwarzenegger movie where he's kind of got his sword raised. But instead of Arnold and Conan here, I have Wonder Woman and Conan's in the girl's position. And I did that because it's funny, because Wonder Woman would totally kick Conan's ass. It wouldn't even be a fight. She'd literally punch a hole or punch his head clean off or something. So that's why I thought it was kind of an interesting little take on that. Although, I don't know if it was some of my favorite cover ever, um, but you know, it's kind of fun to do for sure. And then this last cover I did, I really like this one. I thought it was, uh, it's, I get ran, I'll show you guys the covers I have left to do, which is a ton of them. But I thought this was a, a good one. It really shows like an interesting pose. She's stalking um, the tiger here in the foreground or panther, sorry, is, you know, definitely stalking forward and stuff like that. I feel like it shows a full scene and the, the, the cover is, um, it's got an interesting composition. I feel like it's got movement. There's things that pull you in and stuff like that, but definitely the panther's head is very engaging. And her and her uh, specifically, and uh, anatomically, I felt like she was pretty successful. Um, one thing I wanna show you, and this is kind of funny, you always just pick up little tricks here and there, her nose. So noses is something, and maybe I'll do a video on this, Not even. I don't even know if I have to, but, um, how I'm doing noses now for girls is just two lines, diagonal lines for the nostrils and then this little slash line that goes across where the nose pitches down. Um, I'm really liking the way that looks and uh, so I've been doing that a lot lately and it's things like that uh, stylistically that you pick up on as you draw more and more. Um, and that's one of those things that I just feel like uh, I really like the way that looks and that's kind of how a style I think comes about is you'll pick up on little things like that and make them a part of how you do things. So so that's the video guys. Um, just a side note, this is the pin I've been using for all my Inktober stuff. And I am absolutely loving this thing. You can get like hair thin with that brush. Um, it's got like a refillable like ink deal in the back, which I'm almost out of ink actually because I've been using it so much. This is my second refill on this. Uh, but I love this brush for doing ink work. It's definitely suits my style. Um, 
I did it did this one with this and I really like it here are some of the other variant covers blank variant covers that I have so I'm really I haven't been procrastinating doing it. it's just inktober I think maybe I'll I'll do some next week for inktober but uh, yeah I've got tons of these things to do and they're really fun to do so um, I got another stack Blood Bowl. I don't read all these comics. I just have the local comic book store like put uh, any blank variants they get in my box, in my drop box. And so, yeah, these are all, I love XO Man of War. Can't wait to do this one, but it's not a big space, so. But yeah, tons of blank variant covers to do. So, anyway, uh, that's the video. Thanks for watching guys and I will talk to you later.